it's really crazy. Uh, I, it happened in 1947. It crashed. They found the bodies. Uh, there's a cover-up. We're going to uncover this. No, we're going to uncover this. Yeah, we're going to uncover this. Carol, the director of the UFO Museum Research Center. It's the International UFO Museum Research Center, right? right? The aliens yes. crashed here, and now there's a museum here, I guess, with That's a right. lot of information about that crash. That crash and any other UFO phenomenon information we can get. And right. it, was, it was scary when the aliens crashed. Well, I don't know whether it was or not, because it was, really was not made public right. that much to be scary. But the people no. that saw the aliens consider them to be monsters. No, I didn't say that, and I won't say that. No. They thought they were nice little, little no, green men. They, did, they didn't know what they were. They, were. they weren't green. They were just little gray creatures. Were they from Mars? Or? No, no, no. I didn't say that. I am so used to saying Martians. Well, That's you better thing. change, because no, they were creatures of some kind from a different planet. They were not like us. They were, they were not they, like Earth. They were creatures. Well, they were beings of some kind. Right. Beings. beings. That's a better term. Like they the were creature beings. from the Black Lagoon. I didn't say creatures from the Black Lagoon. No, no, no. no. They looked that. somewhat like the creatures no, from the no, Black no, Lagoon. No, 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 no. Nope, nope. No? Nope. They looked like... No, they, you're putting words in my mouth. No, uh, this is going to be all. Okay. Did okay. It, didn't they have the big eyes and all that? Nope. No, that's, I'm that's about I'm, it. I'm just not very well versed okay, in Okay, well, stuff. I think you better get a book and read up on the Roswell story. Why don't we go in the museum and find fine. out what the real facts are? Okay, that's more like it. Okay. Okay, fine. Let's go find Good out deal. what the real facts are, because I obviously don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're here in Roswell, New Mexico, and to be nice to the people, about two weeks ago, we sent them some of these Hummels, and then I find out today that I've made a horrible mistake, and that these Hummels are actually radioactive, and that the people are going to get sick. And I have to go back and get these hummels from them before more people get sick. Uh, did you receive one of these in the mail? Uh-huh. You did, yeah. But it was all broken. Can we come in and check it? I threw it away. Can we just do a sweep of your house, please? That'd be cool. Did you receive one of these? Can we have a look at it, please? Okay. That's okay. We're doing all right. You want to do what? If we could just uh, isolate it in our radiation tank. Here. Okay. Can just check you out here, sir. Okay. How long have you had the Hummel here? Oh, maybe five, six days. Five or six days. Maybe, maybe a week. A week? Maybe. Where's the garbage can you threw it in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it, all right. We'll just set it over here. So now what? It's fine. We'll just, we'll just remove it here. You just have to contain it, okay? It's a radioactive Hummel. Do you like Hummels? I have some, but they're, they're not ready. You know, they're old. Yeah. This one may be radioactive, so... Okay. Where was it by the green chair? Right in there where that green chair is. Okay. Let's see here. What's all this about? We sent it to you as a gift, but then it turned out there might have been some radiation, so we just wanted to come and make sure well, everything was all right. Yeah, well, take it then. Okay. okay. Yeah, we're clear. Everything's clear in here. That's okay. I creamed my face earlier. Don't tell me my face cream is radioactive. Did you have some face cream on? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not detecting it. Okay. Sorry about this. That's okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. If anyone else in your neighborhood received one of them, just, uh, you know, tell them it might be radioactive, okay? Okay. Do you think that an alien spacecraft crashed here? Something happened here in 1947 that the government's been lying about for 
ever since. They said first it was a weather balloon, then they said it was a Mogul balloon, and then they tried to tell that the people here were so dumb they thought these uh, parachute dummies were that, and they're way 200 pounds a piece or something. <coughs> and had the military come out and said, there's a craft that's crashed at Roswell. We don't know what it is. We don't know where it came from. We can't defend against it, and we can't build one like it. If they'd have said that two years after that, they'd have been jumping off a building just like they do with that radio thing. Right. We're in Roswell, and uh, I, uh, I'm a spaceman. This is my space car. It has buttons. This is the engine. This is the computer. Look what I made. I made a spaceship. I made a spaceship. Everybody look at me. I've got a spaceship. I'm a spaceman. Can I get a space burger? I want to get a gravity burger. One cheeseburger? No, an astro burger. Can I get some galaxy french fries? I want to get a Jupiter shake. We don't have a Jupiter shake here. Do you have a Venus french fry? No. Can I get the, the galaxy burger? We don't have a galaxy burger. I'm in a space... French fry. I want the Galaxy Burger. I'm a spaceman. Okay, ma'am, just go ahead and pull, please pull around. I'm a spaceman and I'm really hungry. I'm a really hungry spaceman. I'm really hungry. 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 I'm really Somebody goes by and they cut their car open. I didn't know the taillights were out. Just because you don't need taillights on Neptune? That's where I'm from. I'm from the planet Neptune. Uh, but you're in Roswell. We're actually doing a piece in town on rattlesnakes right now. Yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah, we're to doing... me. I don't, I don't... I grew up where there was rattlesnakes. I've killed thousands of them. So the aliens aren't like rattlesnakes, then? No. No, no, no. The aliens are very intelligent. If they were able to come here to this Earth from another planet or through another galaxy, they are above everything intelligent-wise. So, so they're, they're, sm they're smarter. Really, they're smarter they're... than rattlesnakes, for sure. Yeah. No comparison. See, obviously we're in Roswell, New Mexico, because we're doing a show on UFOs and, and space, but the newspaper called me last night and asked why we were here, and I thought it'd be fun to lie, so we told them that we were doing a piece on rattlesnakes. Uh, and they wrote an article in the paper about it, which we thought was kind of fun. And now we're going to go out to the desert and talk to the TV station about rattlesnakes. What's your news uh, station called? KBIM TV. KBIM. You guys have to get back, I guess, for a... Well, we want to get you on for the 5.30. <laughs> I'm just surprised you guys are here for something other than aliens. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, what we've, what, we've, what we've been doing, we've been traveling around. Uh, we started in Arizona, in Phoenix. Basically, around these desert states looking for rattlesnakes. What we just makes you want to do a show on rattlesnakes? We're hoping what we can do with this rattlesnake special is to entertain as well as educate. Here's a snake hole here, Jennifer. Come here. Oh yeah, this is a big one. This is probably uh, this is probably a Western Diamondback, and you might be we might be able to thrash this one out here. Watch your step here. You want to watch your step, okay? Watch your step there. Is there anything there? Let me just just thrash the grass. Just thrash it. You can do it too. Just thrash it like this. Thrash it like a thrash. Thrash the grass. Just thrash. It. Thrash the grass. You gotta thrash it. Let's try and thump the ground. This is called thumping the ground, okay? This creates a vibration in the ground. This is where this work. This is how we caught our last one. Out of the ground, okay? Out of the ground, thump in the ground, thump in the ground, thump in the ground, thump in the ground. I don't know if we're gonna get one here. Look what I found here. See this? See these pellets? See these? That's rabbit crap. That means there's probably gonna be some, some western diamondbacks around here. They're actually the only rattlesnake that's big enough to actually swallow a rodent the size of a rabbit. Here's another hole here. You gotta rattle like this, okay? I don't know, maybe it's gonna land. Come on down. I'm going to make him land. 
is a police helicopter. This is exciting. We're just looking for rattlesnakes. Hi. Can I do something for you? No, no. Uh, we thought you were saying hi. We're just with the local news. We are looking for someone. Oh. We thought you were way your way, but we thought you were Oh, no. I thought he was just saying hi. So I waved him down, but then uh, I guess they're looking for someone or something. It's a big misunderstanding. I was just looking for rattlesnakes, you know? Sorry. Sorry about that. No, I feel like a bit of an idiot now. I worry when state police are involved, usually. <laughs> That's when I start to worry. <laughs> but it's not our aliens that brought MTV to town. It's our rattlesnakes. A crew from MTV, including comedian Tom Green, are filming rattlers in desert places, including the desert area west of Roswell. As you can see, Green has developed an unusual way of getting the snakes to come out of their holes. Green is planning on doing a feature on the snakes that will air on the music channel in about a month. Got to check that out. Out. Now it's time for a check of the weather. Here's meteorologist Cam Moore with the first forecast. <laughs> what the hell did we just watch there? What the hell was that? <laughs> Have you ever been threatened by uh, the military? To no, sir. Stop? Uh, but I know, do know this, that those of us here in the museum, we know our telephones are tapped. Are they really? Well, I'm saying this because in the middle of the night it'll ring and there's nothing on there. No buzz, no nothing, just dead. See? Right, heavy breathing. Someone listening? I haven't heard that. Well, one time I did, and I said, get out your notebook, you, and uh, right. write all this down so you get it right. It's 3 o'clock in the morning right now. We're in St. Paul, home of the world's first UFO landing pad. Earlier today, we met with John Trafenko, the mayor of St. Paul. And it basically, of course, started as, uh, as a tourist attraction, and over the years, many, many people have stopped here and have taken pictures. So our town council in 1992 started to build this spaceship out here. We also met with this cattle mutilation expert, and he brought us to see these cows that had been mutilated. This cow died in a canola field with no tracks of how she got there. This is the uh, cow that was suspected to have been mutilated by aliens here. You can see what's left of it. This happened a couple of months ago. Uh, aliens came down from the sky and uh, mutilated this animal. You can't see any farms or, or, or roads or anything, so it's a perfect place for a UFO to land, pick up a cow, do its experiments, cut, 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 uh, snip, snip, snip. Humans like eating ribs, perhaps aliens enjoy <coughs> some tasty ribs as well. Um, perhaps they like to take the leg and pretend that they have a, like a, 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 a three, look, it's a three-legged race. Look, eh? Look at this. A three-legged race. Look, look at this. Okay, St. Paul, they've got restaurants, galaxy pizza and UFO pizza and all this crap, but they've never seen a UFO. They've got the world's first UFO landing pad, but they've never even seen a UFO. And I feel really sad, and John Trefenko, the mayor of the town, is trying so hard to make it work. It's 3 o'clock in the morning right now, and we're going to drop by John Trefenko, the mayor of St. Paul's house, and we're just going to, like, let him know that UFOs are real. get mutilated. In Roswell, they have it a little easier. Using night vision technology, we've gone to a farmer's field where we've put a cow on a stake ripe for the picking. We were able to spot an alien life form running across the farmer's field, captured on videotape. And look what the alien decided to do. What the f 
How are we doing? What are we doing? This isn't comedy. Good job. My job. What did you do last night, Tom? Oh, spat cow hair out of my mouth. It uh, sucks when it gets stuck to your tongue. You've heard about the high-pitched sound Is the aliens make? Not necessarily, no. No, I haven't heard about a high-pitched sound. Mostly it seems to be through thought transmission some way that people are communicated with through aliens. Someone like that. Yeah. Possible, I don't know. I couldn't say. Coming up next on the 10 spot, a new love line with a kid. Okay. Hello? 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 Oh! Oh no! It's okay. What exactly was happening inside this building here? Well, as far as we know, this is where they brought the bodies to. Okay, well, let's wander in and have a look. So this is it here. Now, the story was they had it all stacked out here in the middle, and it was guarded only on the inside, but all around it, too. We've actually found something as well out in the desert that we thought maybe you guys would like to have a look at. Sure. This is actually a really, really exciting um, moment I think for us, but I can't imagine how exciting this is going to be for you guys, uh, having been involved with this, with the UFO Museum for as long as you have. We were out in the crash site, and um, if you'd like to do the honors, actually, of... We, we found one. We found a Martian out there, and uh, I don't know, we thought maybe we could perform an autopsy on the Martian today. Well, now, I keep telling you it's not a Martian. We're not going to do anything that belittles what we're trying to do to educate people. No, absolutely not. I just think that since we have this opportunity, since we're here... You make this a fun thing, that's one thing. But when you get serious about you are being informed an autopsy on an alien, we don't want any part of it. We were actually pretty excited. And we, I'm sure you, you didn't find the damn thing up there. Now, you can say anything you want to, but we know you didn't. What we want to do here... So we want to get to the bottom of this. So what we're going to do is we have some probing equipment here. I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm gonna, not no, participating in something that... You go that ahead and do your show, mm -mm. but leave mm -mm. us out of it, because we won't be a part of something as phony as this. Mm -hmm. We were surprised, as I'm sure you are right now, and we're probably all going through a little bit of shock right now, to be honest, because we have one here. No, you no, don't have one. No, no, Because we've no, seen dozens no. of these things. We've seen this before this right here yeah. in Roswell up the street from us always. That's right. You guys told me you'd never seen one before. We haven't. That's not one. That's a That's damn statue. That's not a real one either. Feel the, how the, he the head is sure, soft? We know sure, what it is. We know sure. What it is. sure. We're not pretending it's a real one because no. it isn't a real no, one. No, no, this is a real so, one. We, we, you must understand. We went out no. to Corona. No. No, no, no. 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 You just didn't look. say anything about all this when you no. asked us to come out here. No, no. we're not going to be a part let's of just, this. Let's just... Nope. Let's just... Nope. nope. We're help through. Help yourself. Guys, we're you guys. You go ahead. Go, go ahead. Guys. No, no, no. C come here. Come help me with this. Nope. 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 Wait, wait. Look, I have him right here. Look, he's a Martian. Look, guys. Wait, wait for me. Wait for me. I'm a, 
I'm afraid for me. Uh, Don't leave me. We just forget go. it. Can't we go? We'll go do an autopsy. No, again? no. Wait, wait. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a, I'm a Martian. I'm a Martian. You, you be damn nope. sure and tell them we walked out on you. We're gone. What's you get that on the film. We walked out on this crap. We found it. Baloney. Bullshit. This is what all the research. I hope you heard me say bullshit too. And what? if you, you uh, and if you imply that we're backing any of this, you're no. crazy. No, we're not implying anything. And if you film film this and imply that we went along with this. You guys, you obviously we'll not sue your you. ass is what we'll do. We'll because, sue you. Well, this is the real deal here. It's oh. not the real deal. Here he is. Look, hello, look at won't. me. I'm a Martian. Hello, look at me. I'm a little Martian. Oh, I crashed. I crashed on the planet. Boo, 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 boo. Boo, boo, boo. Beep, 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 beep. Shut up. What? I said shut up. That's a bunch of crap. Now look. E.T. phone home. That's a home. bunch of crap, e and you know e it. E.T. phone home. If you tie the UFO Museum in Roswell with what this bullshit is, we'll sue your ass. So no, no. Ready for that. No, I mean, it's very clear no. that you guys don't agree with me that this First is... First we don't. Okay. Can we just go back and give it the autopsy? I have, I have a saw and everything. Do you want to take it to the museum? You can put it in a display case. Hell of... no. E.T. phone home. E.T. phone home. Wait, guys. Guys. Wait. I have the real deal here. I've got the real deal here, guys! See, this is what happened in 1947. You get confronted with the real deal, and no one believes it. Bullshit. That all makes sense now.